All right, let's try out some stone shard. Stone chart. So here I am. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead, and the other half are deserters and traitors. The host be praised. At least I've got the stone shard. What the fuck? A stone shard? If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. I'm too old. Ah, if only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Bryn. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Well, time to return the favor. Damn. It's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? So, I played a little bit as Velmer. And that was pretty cool. Jorgim. Deerwin. So, Velmer and Skadia, the most grievous offenses must be paid for in blood. So what is Velmer, you think? To each their own. On receiving an attack, Velmer is granted one and a half accuracy for five turns. The Revenger. We got Jorgum. Berserker Frenzy for each enemy killed. Uh, plus 10% weapon damage. And 15 crit. Uh, not so long ago, the people of the northern borderlands would shake their boots at the mere mention of Tyr the One-Eyed. A legendary leader of the Fjall Brigens, Brigens. Tyr's gang was infamous for their audacious raids. Even the well-armed troops of the local lords couldn't keep up with the dwarves' attacks. Jorgrim was one of those brigands. He didn't join them for the love of carnage, but rather because most denizens of Hjall can't imagine a different fate for themselves. Truth be told, a merciless, for a merciless cutthroat, Jorgrim was way too soft-hearted and honorable. So he's like a dwarf. Arna. Each enemy within your vision received minus 5% cooldowns. Hmm, that's not bad. Few noble houses of Aldor can boast history as impressive as that as the House of Deer Vern. Title of Knight can only be passed on to a man. So she's like the daughter of a lord that loses everything. Deerwin. Most of his life and loyal service to the late king, relentlessly patrolling the hunting grounds of his majesty. The woodsman. First time an enemy enters your vision, they're applied with minus 20% dodge chance. Pretty good. Runaway sorceress. And then you can make your own person, but I guess it's not available yet. I heard the magic in this is really fun. I'm gonna go with uh no. I don't know. I guess I heard the dwarf is pretty good to start off with. I heard she's good too though. Let's try the maiden knight. Is that so? Interesting. Arna. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. We need horses. Oh. We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. We came to an agreement. We'll do a couple of tasks for them, and they'll give us a cart and two horses. Hmm. Don't worry about the job. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with brigands or the undead. The Elder will give you the details. 
You should go see him right away. No time to waste. Ah, I almost forgot. Here's a map of the area. You need it more than I do. You can also ask the innkeeper about local events. He is a talkative kind. I'm sure he'll answer any of your questions. Off you go then. Good luck. Off you go then. Yeah, I mean, it's all new to me. You mentioned some ring? I did, thanks for reminding me. You get a ring. A ring and ding. So she starts off with a sword. So, Arna sword. And a buckler. Breads. Some water. Some blue. Let me get this ring. Ooh. It's damaged, but that's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I like about this so far. I mean, it just seems like it has a lot to do. Can't wait to check it out. I'm already all geared up. What are you selling? I got some bread and water. I should be fine for now. I do want to kind of buy a sausage, though. A little sausage. I'm going to go out and do my thing and then come back and rent a room. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Osbrook. But doesn't it look great? I just love the look of it. Where's this guy? Not all set up yet. Shiny apples, big juicy pears. Sound died. Are you the new mercenary? I expected someone tougher. You'll have to do, I suppose. I've been told to provide you with equipment. We don't have much in terms of weaponry, but it should suffice. What can I get you? Um, I guess a ranged weapon, because I already have a... There you go. It's not the best weapon out there, but it's the best we've got. Good luck to you. Hope we meet again. Bow and arrow. Nice. That actually would be handy. What are you selling? Upstairs. Dude. I don't think I've ever seen a female mercenary. Well, if you could deal with our village's problems, what do I care? What do you need? Varen didn't tell you? We didn't have a capable mercenaries in Osbrook for quite a while. So there's a lot to deal with. Bands, cults, the undead. Lots of places around here attract filth like that. We don't have many guards, so I can't afford any of them dying. That's why I need a mercenary. Uh, what about affording a mercenary dining? Dining? Talking's hard. Let's get to business, then. I have a few contracts available, and if you fulfill a couple of them, then we're even. And you'll have your cart and horses, so what do you say? I only have one contract for you at the moment. The captured merchant. Interested? Bad news. Not so long ago, our merchant, Bert, went to town for some goods. He was ambushed by brigands on his way there. Fortunately, he survived, but now they hold him ransom. We just don't have that kind of money that they are asking for in his return. I need someone to go to the Tower of Reevestain and make it loud and clear for everyone that we don't negotiate with outlaws. Free the merchant, kill their leader, and I will make sure you are properly compensated. Merchant Mart. Deal. Good. And it's settled. Give me your map, I'll mark the location, and you'll have three days to deal with it and claim your reward. What are you selling? What are you selling? I think I'll buy that baked potato from you. Just like look in his pocket and take a baked potato out. <clears throat> well, thank you. Merchant Mart. So the problem with this game 
for a lot of people is saving. You can only save when you sleep, basically. So right now, if I died, I had to start from the very beginning, which is kind of a bummer. It's kind of like the nature of the game, I guess. So it is like very punishing. Uh, shit that happens to you. <clears throat> So we're going to be restarting a lot, I think, basically. I wonder if I should buy some caltrops. They're only 16 gold. Be useful. Might be useful. A little dagger. Always good to have a baked warm potato in your pocket. We gotta go north of town. I don't remember seeing you around here. Mercenary, I suppose? Take a look at what I'm selling. If you ever decide to venture out for a hunt, the stuff might come in handy. I'm selling. Fox pelts. Smoke bomb. That's kinda dope. Dead roll. Damn expensive. Good day to you, young man. Or oh, fine lady, I can't tell from here. The drunkard. Yeah. Good to save real quick. I guess that'll do. Yeah, I'm sure I'll see why people dislike it. I've just barely started. Oh, there are horses over here. What are you doing? Wait, did I just load that? Did I sell my bone arrow? What the fuck happened? Oh, I switched. I didn't even know you could do that. That's sick. Just like Diablo. I was like worried for a second. I think you can later on ride the horses, maybe. I think that's the whole idea right now is we're trying to, oh fuck, it's bandits. We're trying to get our shit together so we could like take off. Not a good shot. Not a good shot. There we go. Bleeding. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm bleeding out already. See, the problem is, too, taking on more than one person at a time, you get fucking wrecked. I gotta go rest in town now. <sighs> Rhubar. They're quite poisonous. Yeah, I got some stuff though. Well, that's really what I want. That'll like... Save me a lot of time. I've been like, switching my gear and stuff like that completely. I tried to fight one of the guards in another save and they kicked my ass pretty badly. Guards are pretty rough too. Look at that shield, board shield. Round shield. It's about the same, it's a little bit better. Spike club. I'm gonna keep the sword to throw at people.
So it kind of has like a uh, <clears throat> Tarkovish healing system, I guess. I don't know what else to compare it to. I'm sure, there's a million other games. And you have to actually like put salve on injured parts to get rid of pain. Then you hit R and you can kind of sit down and relax. And you slowly get all your health back as you rest. This guy's an apothecary. Pharmacist man. Yeah, I want to get another band-aid and a uh, healing salve just in case I get wrecked. Yeah, it's like a Tarkov zomboid kind of healing system. Where you, if you start bleeding, you are dead. If you don't heal up, patch yourself up. I like the inventory a lot too, just like Diablo. And also like Diablo, if you hold alt, it shows you everything on the ground. Like metal over there. Damn, a lot of bandits, huh? I did not find this many last time I played. Hit him, come on, bro. <laughs> I got his head cut off. Alright, those guys were mediocre at best. Mediocre. You can kind of walk around and go foraging. Get some raspberries. Yeah, I feel like ranged combat in this game is very, uh, tough first. Maybe I can get that bird over there. I love that you can go hunting like that, though. Isn't that sick? That might actually help my, like, aim, too, at some point. But I think this is where the tower is. No, no, we got a little ways to go. Just walking through the hills, shooting birds. Shooting at some birds. What else is there to do? I'm gonna run into some, some folks I wanna fight soon. I need to find a water source. Flea wart. Huh, that looks actually pretty good for healing. I'm shooting at them birds. You're running up that hill. <gasps> a rabbit. He's gone. He gone. You know what? I forgot that I have like points. I think I start off with too. For uh, there's like a whole skill tree. Backstab, survival, skinning. Cauterize wounds. Campfire. Combat mastery. 
I was using this this war cry. This is pretty badass, I thought. You get to read books for the rest of this stuff. I know you start with swords, right? Delivers a strike to three adjacent targets with 30% body damage. Blade maintenance. Sword's durability deteriorates slowly. What else does it do? Grant sword attacks 5% weapon damage. Oh, okay, so if it's better. Pretty good for a passive. Retreats back a tile. If the next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy, forms an attack with 36% stagger chance and more bleed chance. Passive effect, minus 2% cooldown duration for this ability tree. Huh. Well, I'm using a sword, right? So I may as well do sword things, maybe? Cleaving strike. That's like for fighting mobs. That could be pretty useful. What does that lead to? Gloat. I'm going to take this passive, too, I think. Beef up my character a bit. The host be praised. What is this? Is this like a save point? No. Like a little, little altar. Oh, give me a blessing. Healing efficiency, unholy resistance, and experience gain. Dope. Give me a buff. Oh yeah, there's mad shit out here. Getting buff. Ooh, a moral. Sometimes there's just like dudes in the woods, like, hey, what are you doing? They try to fight you. Oh, yeah, this is not good to eat. This is good to eat, though. I don't like how the music dies for a second when you go between different zones. Oh shit, we got boys up here. You can inspect people too. A goon. Those fucking goons. A former peasant who had turned to a life of crime in an attempt to not starve to death. Fodder for dirty and dangerous work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you running? We just lost like all our... running off to oh, he's coming back now he wants to run damn it I can't hit shit Crossroads. What the fuck is that over that way? Kind of want to go back and see what that guy was. 
uh, using as a weapon. A lot of flea wart. Ah, it's just a homemade sword. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta keep pushing forward because I need to get to this merchant before the end of the first three days. many days we have left here. So is a penny bun actually like a, w a real mushroom? What the fuck is a penny bun? Never heard of that before. <gasps> fuck. I can't be fighting wolves, dude. Seems like a bad idea. Seems like a good way to die. Let's see what's over this way. Also, being out at night feels like it's kind of a dangerous thing. Oh, it's like a dead end. A penny bun. Uh, Cenobium of the Guiding Hand. Cenobium. The many ruins of monasteries, abbeys, and chapels is what remains of the time when Aldor was ruined by Hierophants rather than kings. Hierophant. Huh, it's like a catacomb. I'm gonna go back to town. We'll head back to town, sleep the night, and then get a jump on the tower in the morning. Really? Here? Right now? Girl, you gotta start hitting these guys. No, I have no range skills. But it's not that hard to hit a thing with an arrow. Just picking up a bow and using it with like no experience, like shouldn't be that hard. Are you gonna hurt them? Maybe not. I think that's one thing in a lot of like hardcore RPG games that gets like over embellished in the gameplay is like like it's a fucking bow and arrow and she's like a a knight I think she would know at least how to like hit things with it but such is video games such is the video game But then again, a fucking old bow is harder to use than a modern bow in a lot of ways. Not really the same thing. I don't know. I'm not a fucking expert. I like the day-night cycle. How people all have like their own little things they're doing. And you could break into houses at night if you wanted to like be a bastard and like steal shit. Uh, everyone's gone. It must be that late. There's like a noble here who's like a dick. Ah, these commoners! Can't you see? I don't have time for your trivialities. It looks like, uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones? I'm taking his apple. I 
I stole it. I stole your apple. I did. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? How foggy it is in the morning. One thing I don't understand is I think that there's certain merchants that like pay you more for certain goods than others. Why is this other guy out not out here? There's another merchant that was there when I was playing before. I don't know where he is. Oh, maybe that's who we have to save. I bet you. Yo, some meat morsels. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I was using this with my other character too, the crushing flail. Peasant flail. What are you selling? Yeah, like he's not giving me shit. You could throw everything too, which is nice. Which is like throwing all my fucking junk equipment at enemies running at me. I'll get to you in a moment. Oh okay, yeah, he pays me more. For some of that. What's his name? Will probably give me more for the flea wart, the apothecary guy. What are you selling? Nah, only two gold each. Damn. I will sell you a stick. All right. Good day to you. And there's a tailor. Is that guy being misogynistic? The bastard. The tailor. We need gloves. Damn, they're all expensive as fuck. 26, is not bad. One protection. Two protection. Take all my money. And we need a belt. Really not that great. Guess we'll take it. Better than nothing, I suppose. Thank you. I think I only ever played RE4 one time. Like all the way through. Oh, I went the wrong way. All right, we gotta get up to that tower. I'm gonna rule this shit up. Hopefully we don't get ambushed too many times. This shit is far away. I wonder if it'd be quicker to go just through the woods. Nah, not really. I doubt that there's fast travel, but it is kind of a pain in the ass to get from one place to another, but I don't know if that's like the point. like long ass marches around every time I see a butterfly I think of earthbound they look like the earthbound butterflies what? getting thirsty I'm 
we got out here? Burdock. From town to town would make sense, yeah. Or caravans will be fast travel, that makes sense. And then you want to like be able to like run around like this around towns to gather loot and quest around, but it's not always the best way. Unless the horses are like really quick. Yeah, we gotta roll up on this place. It should be like over here. I think in the next zone. We'll see a few of them. Oh, fuck. These wolves are bastards, huh? That's not good. Or you gotta, like... Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm dead. Hit him with an arrow, god damn it. You're pathetic. You are pathetic. Minor hand injury, fuck. Need like a splint for that. I think I can make a splint though. Maybe not. Stupid dogs. Oh, fuck, there's like a bear over there. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna have to go back. <clears throat> There's no way I could get that quest done if I go back to get a splint. I gotta hit that shrine up again, too. Let me get some. I should get a splint, though, from the fucking apothecary. To pop the carry. We sell him. What's this? Leeches. Sick. I love them. Roll out. We got an apple too. Delicious.
What are you selling? A pretzel? He sells mounts. 50 gold. He's got some juicy gossip. What's he got? I wonder if that means those wolves are 100% going to be there. I should throw the caltrops out this time. I wonder if you can pick them back up after you throw them. The fuck was that? Bunting and J. This flea wart is going to come in handy, though. Flea wart. Yeah, we get this fucking blessing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think we need a better bow, too. Like, the peasant bow sucks. I think that's part of the problem. Yeah, minus 75% accuracy. That's the problem. Our bow is, like, a toy bow. That shit ain't good. Yeah, I'm just even shitty bows. Yeah, they're still here. It's only one wolf, though. Nope, it's two. So fucked. <laughs> it's just like really uh RNG, I guess. You're gonna live through that shit. I'll try it one more time. I still have all that shit I gotta do. Boom, boom. Oh, you can just use the arrow keys. Might as well buy one of these too. Eh, maybe not. I think you could find one.
traveling staff. Yeah, I really need, like, good armor. I wonder if I could just, like, break into the armory and steal all their shit at night or something. Without someone noticing. There's gotta be somewhere I can steal some shit. It's usually the best way to start off a game like this. Just rob everybody. Just be a thief. You know what? I got an idea, actually. What if I just wander into the woods and avoid these wolves? I just approach from the wilderness. Assuming we don't run into a bunch of animals out here. Oh, fuck. Fox. Eh, I'm not too worried about him. Are you fighting something? getting like experience don't leave all those arrows behind what are you doing Box ran away, I think. Oh, fuck. They're like everywhere, dude. Hopefully we can steer clear of that fucking bear. Oh, there is a sneak mode, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. I'm there. Apparently. There it is. Need some water? Oh, wait. Yeah, this is it. Ambush. Uh, fuck. Make them come to me. Oh, fuck off. Of course, this guy's a fucking sniper.
Hey, he's got a short bow, though. Probably way better than this fucking crappy peasant bow. Mindy, minus 70% accuracy. What the fuck? You like the same fucking thing? Mostly. Hey. I guess when you're like really close to what, like an arrow is not gonna do a lot, like you can't really. Whoa. Shit, dude, they fucked me up. Didn't go down without a fight. Use their fire to chill out, though. Regain some health. Eat some foods. Well, I got like no arrows left, too. I oh, know we do. They just don't fit into that stack, I see. Some... Random shit in here, some rags. War scythe. Club. I'll leave this stuff in here for now. Maybe I want to take it with me, though, actually. I mean, this sword is pretty good. Oh, I didn't buy the gloves and the belt. That's right. I wish you could get more equipment off the dead dudes. 25 damage, damn. Throw it. We gotta go in. Not much out of here. Finally hit something with an arrow. Reeve Stain. Start hitting people. There you go. I'm gonna throw this axe. Come on. Man. There you go. Battle cleaver. Oh, it's just like a little sword. Does it actually do more damage? Less accuracy. There's more body part damage. I'll try it. Got us a rich girl. Bro, I got like 200 bucks. Not that much money here. It kind of seemed like it did. I'm blading like a pig. He says. Some straw.
oil. Nightstand. I like the music a lot too. It's a really nice atmosphere. I like how it just faded out like that. That was kind of pretty. Shit, it's just a dude. getting eaten by the Yeah, it did kind of seem like he's trying to avoid. Rex. Oh, I'm in pain. Shit. Fucker. I run out of salve here. Chill on that for now. Drink some of this oil. Actually, the salve is going to help. There we go. Some liquors. That's what I'm talking about. This will help. Drink a little bit. Get rid of that pain. going on. Let's sober up a little bit. Oh, there's a guy. Sometimes you just gotta wait it out. Water over there? I'm gonna take two. Don't do that. Ooh. This is the guy that ran away. This game's called Stone Shard. <laughs> Ooh. 
I don't think it was the same guy. Nice! Fucking execution. Here's our boy here. This is why I have to rescue, I think. Hey, wait. Don't go. Please, you have to get me out of here. Their leader is somewhere nearby. The key must be on him. Harry, we don't have much time. Didn't I just, like, pick it? No? Club. Oh, fuck. Stan the Husky. A burly fellow who is dead sure that every problem can be resolved with intimidation and violence. A burly fellow. Oh, you fucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, he ran away. I'm fucked, though. Ain't no way. If there wasn't the other guy, we would have been fine. I didn't realize there was another dude in there. All right, I'm going to wrap it up for now. We're getting late. But thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for watching some Stone Shard. I think I'll play it again probably sometime. Maybe I'll pick it up from that spot and try to beat that guy. But uh, thanks for hanging out.